torque reading of the back leg is measured in Newton meters. This is the yellow graph in your Swing Catalyst software. What I want the back leg torque reading to get to as proficient is 45 Newton meters of force. And what this means is the body is making a counter rotation of the hips around a stationary femur. Now the femur is only gonna be stationary if the back shoe stays stationary as well. We have found that the best back shoe readings are gonna be from a toe that's straight ahead. When I have players that externally rotate my feet or I internally rotate my shoe, that's gonna affect that back leg torque number overall. And the reason being is the internal rotation capability of the hip plays a big factor into this. Players that have minimal internal rotation capability may not counter rotate their hips much at all, but still spike a really high number, up to 50 or 60 Newtons of force in that back leg. However, this is something that coaches have eyeballed for years and years and saying, hey, you need to rotate your hips this way in your loading mechanism, feeling like I'm winding up before I unwind. But this isn't something that we can eyeball because a player with limited internal rotational capability is going to present on the graph way different in the same movement than a player with more heavier internal rotational capability in the back hip. And should that happen, the angle of the shoe is going to make more of a difference now. So I mentioned, if I have a player that has very minimal internal rotation capability of the hip and they open their back shoe some, it may not affect them even though they have a greater range of motion now to get into their counter rotation. But if I have a player with great range of motion in that back hip and they externally rotate their shoe, now they're gonna have a lot farther to go to counter rotate to bottom out that hip and it's gonna limit their overall torque production. So this is something that first we need to measure in a movement assessment and then you'll see how that movement assessment factors into the reading you're gonna see in foot placement in my back shoe reading of the torque. So this is something I tell hitting coaches and players that we need to experiment with. Find your best position of your back shoe that plays into what your internal rotation capability is with your back hip. If I have a player that has the toe out, they're gonna see that number go down. So you'd think, well, if I turn the toe inward, that should increase the amount of torque that I'm getting, right? And it's simply not the case. When a player turns his toe inward, we're truly torquing the knee at the tibia versus the femur in the hip joint. So we found over time that the best position of the back shoe for most of your hitters is going to be straight ahead to get your best torque reading on the swing catalyst graph.